sliding in the home plate at 11.22 p.m. What's going on? This is Thursday, November 9th. D-Ran Ogunlana, a.k.a. Mr. Ogunlana. Oh, man, today was... Uh, woo Today has been very eventful. Um, I'm currently... <laughs> I just got off the... Uh, just got finished doing a session with uh, my Xamarin student. And <laughs> oh, I'm laughing because I, I, I mean, he's a great guy. He just he, he's showing me the significance of taking life on, um, just taking life on. I've, I've also been listening to um, I found some some other books and it's not necessarily a book, but it is on Scribd and it is Choosing Your Future by Les Brown. It is a six um, messages that he delivered and across, uh, and I'm not sure what the time and the date was, but they co- they compiled all of this, the audio and put it in book format. And it is a great, great book. Um, I wanted to recommend, well, at least a great audio. He's a, he's a phenomenal speaker. The piece about that, um, his message on, I think it was the second, the second, ta- the second track is he said that if there's any time in, and I'm paraphrasing, if there's any time in life where you feel insecure, then that is a direct result of you not knowing what you're supposed to be doing. Once again, in life, if there's ever a moment where you feel insecure, then that just means that you are not doing what you're supposed to be doing. (laughs) And that to me, that was very profound because today it seemed like I I was feeling a lot of different things. I, I have some big decisions to make. In terms of my financial future, in terms of my schedule, and today has just been one of those days where I, I'll be honest, I I I forgot the sacrifices that I have been making and what I the reasons why I should be grateful. I I simply forgot. (laughs) I simply forgot because today I spent so much time with my son and he mentioned it even less mentioned it in his work. He said that um, many people can send a check, but not many people can take the time and make the sacrifice to be in their children's lives. To help shape their personalities because of them being around you. And this is what I'm doing. It, it, It could be real. I could just I could simply send a check. And simply just not be in my son's life at all, ladies and gentlemen. But no, (laughs) I have the audacity to believe that it's possible for me to be in my son's life, for him to be in my life and for me to have my dreams, to have my life as I desire it. I believe it's possible. And. Today was, I, I think that the most of the day, because I, and I think there was, it was a few things that kind of got me down today, and I'll be honest on this tape, because why not? I had been, I started, and this is a continuation of, of, of the work that I've been doing to get organized, to set my schedule, to, to get all the way organized, <laughs> because I have to get organized. There's just no way around it. And leading up to this point, I've, I've physically, emotionally, physically have been tired. And I think my physical, emotional t- tiredness has been a result of mentally, I'm mentally being overwhelmed or at least allowing myself to be overwhelmed mentally because I've had so much sensory overload (laughs) because there's so many things going on that I'm doing that I've allowed myself to be overwhelmed. And today 
I was looking at my schedule and and this is like my second or third version draft of this schedule that I'm working on. And I found myself tensing up working on the schedule because I've I've as I have been blocking out time and organizing each day, I felt as if I have I've been organizing myself into a prison, so to speak, in terms of my timing and, and and. and, and I realized just how negative my thought process is or was concerning my schedule, concerning my life. And I, I think and this is and I'm so grateful first. And let me say this for the fact that I've been reading more. I've been reading more and I haven't take I've been been reading more and I've, I haven't taken I don't <laughs> It's late, so my words. <laughs> yeah, I've been reading more, and I haven't been taking no for an answer. I've been reading more, and because I've been reading more, I've been getting new ideas and, and just a different perspective on events and experience in life that are similar to mine, but people just share through their works some of their best thoughts. And I've been sitting and submitting myself to taking the time to listen to those thoughts. And because of that, I've stumbled upon many authors like Vic Johnson who kind of have been dealing with dealing with negative thoughts. And I've been realizing this whole time that my thoughts have been negative. I've been sitting around here thinking how negative or I've been sitting around here thinking essentially that my schedule in my life has, has become too clanky and too cumbersome. And I don't have enough time for me. You know, these are some of the things that I have been thinking without knowing that I have the power to make time for myself, that I have the power to do it because I am organizing my life. And so as I as I was sitting down today, I was I, my son was being a being a beautiful baby boy that he is being rambunctious making noise and, and just just working <laughs> and, and doing it. And I was sitting over sitting up there and doing the same thing, working on my schedule. And I was sitting thinking like, man, my schedule is tight. I'm realizing like my my schedule. <laughs> and I think that's really what's got what had me down. And I think today, well when I listened, when I heard that track two from Les Brown and, you know, I, I just he, he really said it best. He said that you, I, I have to in times where there's fear, there's because it's essentially fear. The whole sensation of being overwhelmed, overwhelmed by a schedule is fear, fear that I won't be able to do what I want to do, fear that my time is not my own and fear that. I won't be able to accomplish my dreams and goals because I'm too preoccupied with obligation. These are the fears that I have. And I actually have other fears that have surfaced today, too, that as a result of my lack of discipline in certain areas of my life, that other other things, fears surfaced because and as Les Brown says that I forgot who I am, you know, or whose I am, I should say. And these fears are of no consequence to me. Not that they I shouldn't acknowledge them as fear and embrace them because I am going towards the unknown because I am actually creating a path. I'm not following down the path that's been created, but I'm creating my own and I'm I'm leaving a trail. And because of that, there is there are times where there is loneliness. There is there is um, sometimes I doubt myself and I have to, as he said, mentioned in this tape that. I have to do things, I have to start off with small victories in my life and because I have realized and I and I say this so many times to so many people, I'm sure whoever listens to this, especially if I can I can imagine a few of the people that, that listen to this are like, what you do like, yes, um, there are small things in my life that I have been failing at that actually has been rearing its head as these fears because they have been aiding and abetting them, aiding and abetting, 
aiding and abetting the creation of beliefs of, of, of failure of myself. And one of them is this early rising thing. Now, I'm not saying rising early is going to make me this this rising early alone is going to make me this success. No, I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is, is I as a personal goal to, for me to prove to myself that I can do this and that I have the courage and I have the wherewithal and the persistence and I have the mental capacity to make a decision and follow through with it. That's why I want to rise early to get those small victories. So even if I rise or go to sleep at two o'clock, four o'clock, I'm hitting the floor. <laughs> like my father, my dad always used to, my dad, when he, you know, when he used to wake me up in the morning to go to school, he'd be like, all right, boys, hit the flow. <laughs> I'm talking about at 4 a.m., I got to hit the flow. I, I don't give a rip if it's raining, if it's cold, if I went to sleep at 2 o'clock, if I'm physically tired, because I have to prove to myself, this is these small victories, I have to prove to myself that I have the capability to respond to life and not react to it. That I can say that this is what I'm going to do and follow through with it. This is what makes me different than everybody else. And this is what will make you different from everybody else. The small victories, the little things, it could be something as simple as getting up in the morning it could be something as simple as going and going for a walk for five miles or or 10 minutes it could be getting up in the morning and doing five sit-ups it could be something simple but it's in order to and i'm gonna read my notes for this because this this is what i actually wrote down for this um to remind myself of who i am when the fear arises because life, and I'm learning a lot about myself and just how I've been reacting to life, that I, these fears, I have fears sometimes that just come out of nowhere. And without having proof or the, or be, or, and I'll use it in a different way because I've been working with, I've been using this working definition of what faith is without having some practice that has been showing me this whole time that I have the capacity to succeed, that when the fear arises, that it shakes me. And that's not the kind of life that I want to live. The kind of life that I want to live is that I embrace the fear and realize that because of the sacrifices that I've made, and that because of the things that I've done, even when nobody's looking, even when nobody's watching me, that regardless of whatever situation that I find myself in, that I will succeed. That if I want to be a beast, if I actually want to be a dominating force in the IT industry, in the real estate industry, in the communications industry, in all of the other industries, in the music industry, and in all the other industries that interest me in my life, that I actually have to do these things personally when nobody's watching to prove to myself that I can do. And it's not that just I can, but I have actually practiced when nobody's watching so that when the lights come on and when the cameras start flashing, when people come around, when I find myself in various situations that I know deep down inside that I have this inner vision of myself. And I know I have this identity of me because I practice it every day at 4 a.m. And the other things that I'm going to be working on 
that I practice it, that when it's time for me to get out in front of people, that it's easy. Because the hard part is, is who are you when nobody's watching? I've said it so many times on these tapes, and I want to reiterate it again. What matters most is not what you say. It is what you do. And then I'll add this to it. And it's not just what you do when everybody's watching. It's what you do when it's just you. Do you have the wherewithal to set a goal, no matter how insignificant it is to everybody else, to follow through with that goal, come hell or high water? Do you have what it takes to get up at 4 a.m., even when you're physically tired? To get up, to look at your book and, and not care how you feel, to get up, stretch, to start moving around, get your energy pumping, start thinking, start, you know, turn something constructive, positive on, get your energy moving, get yourself up. And every day you do it, it's a victory. And that's how you prove to yourself that no matter where you find yourself, whether it's around people or you know, no matter what you no matter what fear you might find yourself having that you have in your mind proof. That you can overcome and that you can that you have what it takes and that no matter what the obstacle is, that you can do it. Gratefulness. I'm grateful that I have my son and I'm in his life. I'm grateful that I've had this realization that I've been searching so long in my life for these for this for something that's been is is so difficult to describe. So so elusive that is some it, it slips from being conveyed properly. But it's the discipline. Because that's really what reminds me that I actually am connected to something so vast and so great that I should walk like it, that I should talk like it. And it's not something that I do for people. It's something that I do when nobody's watching. Can I get up at 11.22 p.m.? And make the sacrifices. Can I can I get on and do this Dreamcast even if there's nobody else listening right now? Can I go to bed and get up at 4 a.m. every day? I, and, and I mean every I mean for the next 30 days. I'm talking about and as and soon as the, the alarm clock go off, it's not OK. I, it's warm and no get your ass up. And I'm feeling the blame <laughs> and I challenge who's a, whoever finds themselves listening to this. Have some small wins. If you've ever had any insecure thoughts about what you're doing with your life, it's because when nobody's watching. You flake. You flounder. You decide that you don't have to work that hard. You decide that you could cut some corners. And if that's you, then the reason why you find yourself failing in your life in public is because you fail and you continue to make small failures in your private life. That's not who you are. Know that no matter what. You come from greatness, you have greatness on the inside of you. And you have to carry yourself that way and in that fashion 
No matter if somebody is stepping on you, if the pressure of life is pressing you down, it doesn't matter. You still have to have it and you have to have that energy and you have to know. And the reason you know and the reason you have that energy is because of these small wins. You know, there are other things on your list. And this is me I'm speaking to. Do it. Don't be afraid of this, 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 this uh, new place that you're play, finding yourself in. This is what your life is supposed to be. You're supposed to be pressing the envelope. You're supposed to be feeling overwhelmed. And when you feel overwhelmed, you have to embrace it. Because that's how you know you're doing the right thing. Les Brown says that everybody else wants it easy. Who do you actually have to be afraid of if everybody else around you wants their life easy? Yes, it's really easy to go out and make horrible decisions and accumulate a large amount of wealth by making horrible decisions. (laughs) It's really easy to do that. But can you leave a legacy? And can you do it while your son is watching? This is what you want to do. So my challenge to myself, my challenge to all of those who's listening and for all of those who know me and watch me in my life is. Let's work on the person that nobody else sees. This is how you make the person that everybody sees a winner. Win in your private life. Set small Goals, small wins that you can make in the morning as soon as you wake up. That's why I'm waking up at 4 a.m. Because it's the first win of my day. It's the first thing that I I won at. So everything else is easy. And that's the challenge. Because every day you you gonna have to you got to go towards it. You, every day. And this is for the next 30 days, the 30 day challenge. <laughs> It's just the 30 day challenge, man. And it's like everything else is easy after that. You get up at 4 a.m. in the morning and some days you're going to be tired. Some days you're going to be like, damn it. Some days you're going to be like, Arr. some days you're going to want to do it. But get up at 4 a.m. in the morning. I'm talking, even if you have to roll push yourself out of bed, it don't matter what you got to do. Get up. Because if you could get up out of bed, that when you feel tired, when you feel like you've given it all that you could give it. When you, if you could get up out of bed, then no matter how many times life tries to knock you down during the day, you know you'll be able to get back up. So again, this is this is the life. This is what nobody else this is this is the secret to success. This is this is the this is the <laughs> This is a soundtrack of success. This is what you want. This is the life you want. Do the work when nobody's watching. Push yourself when nobody's watching. Go hard when nobody's watching. And if you can go hard when nobody's watching. Your life will be a reflection of that. And so that when everybody begins to watch and everybody begins to wonder how and how are you so successful and where is it coming from? You will have deep within you a identification with the greatness that's within that's within you. So do me a favor. No matter where you find yourself, even if you are having insecure thoughts right now. My father told me this and it resonates with me even today. Take your head. Raise it. You have greatness within you. Until the next time we speak.